how would you like your Ethereum transaction fee costs to go from $50 to $0.05? Cents? Well, a team of Ukrainian and Russian engineers have been working together to make this possible. Recently, even in the midst of the conflict between Ukraine and Russia, they released a major piece of this project, years ahead of schedule. They released something called the ZK EVM. Many people, including myself, think that this will be the biggest thing to happen to crypto this year. In this video, I'm going to give you the background on the ZK EVM and why it's important for crypto. I'm also going to give you the Ukrainian founders' thoughts on how this could prevent conflicts like the Ukrainian and Russian conflict in the future. And finally, I'm going to tell you how you might become eligible for a token airdrop for this revolutionary project. Before getting into it, it'll be useful to define a few terms. First, what is an EVM? EVM stands for Ethereum Virtual Machine. You may have heard about Ethereum's computing abilities or Ethereum being a global computer. Well, an EVM is the conceptual notion of the computer that that code is running on. If you write a computer program or an application that can be run on the EVM, that's like saying the same thing as it can be run on Ethereum. Okay, next term is ZK Sync. I've talked about ZK Sync in my L2 overview video. ZK Sync is an L2 protocol that uses zero knowledge proofs. Basically, it's a layer that runs on top of Ethereum that makes it more efficient. When Ethereum applications are deployed to Ethereum mainnet, every single node needs to run the code for that application. Using ZK Sync and zero knowledge proofs, only one node needs to run the actual code. That node then creates a zero knowledge proof, which allow other nodes on the network to check that all the code that was run was valid. This has the potential to be a much more efficient way of running applications on Ethereum with pretty much the same security guarantees. The problem is, this is a brand new area of cryptography. Creating these zero-knowledge proofs isn't always easy. Zero-knowledge proofs tend to work best when things are static because you create a mathematical representation of a computer program. But in order for things to be EVM compatible, they have to be generalizable to be able to run any program possible. This can include complicated computer programs with things like for loops, while loops, if statements, etc. A year ago, most cryptography researchers thought that we would need much faster computers in order to make zero-knowledge proofs become anything that would actually be useful for applications on top of Ethereum. But the engineers and researchers at Matter Labs, the company behind ZK Sync, made a number of breakthroughs that have made the ZK EVM possible years ahead of schedule. One of these breakthroughs is a hybrid system that separates tasks between computationally expensive but expected tasks and then the more dynamic and unexpected tasks in a computer program. This hybrid system can do those expected tasks very efficiently, but is still able to handle the generalizable programming tasks that are needed. One other major problem they faced was that SNARKs, the type of zero knowledge proof that they're using, doesn't do well with extremely long programs. There's basically a limited length that something can be in order to create a zero knowledge proof for it. So what the Matter Labs team did was they used recursion used snarks of snarks of snarks of snarks in order to handle programs of arbitrary length. All of these things have come together into an EVM compatible ZK EVM, where developers can deploy their EVM code or Ethereum code with most likely zero changes. There are a few things that might need to be modified, but those are minor and are likely to be updated in the future. The other cool thing about ZK Sync is that they've built everything so that the user interfaces do not need to be modified at all for new applications deployed to ZK Sync. It's really hard to put into words how excited I am for the ZK EVM and ZK Sync as a whole. I really do believe that this, combined with the upcoming Ethereum merge, will cause a paradigm shift in the Ethereum ecosystem, making it not only the best developed blockchain ecosystem, but also the most secure, decentralized, and cheapest to run transactions on. One cool thing about ZK Sync is they've already committed to releasing a token. This token will most likely be used to pay for gas fees on the ZK Sync layer two. But the ZK Sync team has made it very clear that they think it's important to get this token into their users' hands to make sure that it's actually decentralized. What this really means is that sometime in the next few months, they're likely to do an airdrop to early participants in their ecosystem. I'm going to make a more in-depth video on how to be eligible for this airdrop in the future, so hit subscribe if that interests you. But in general, doing things like moving Ethereum onto ZK Sync creating addresses, and deploying contracts are probably your best bet. And finally, let's talk about how this relates to Ukraine. The founder of Matic Labs is Alex Glukowski. 
He was born in Ukraine under Soviet rule. And one of the reasons that he's passionate about crypto as a whole is that he sees it as a solution to a lot of the problems that he faced growing up there. Seeing the way that Putin, who's just one person, has enough power to negatively affect the lives of millions of people, not only in other countries, but also his own country, is very sad. But this is one of the things that crypto has the potential to make better, by putting more power into the hands of the individual and taking less from autocratic regimes. The new advances with ZK Sync and the ZK EVM are just one example in crypto of people across country lines working together to create some really incredible things. In the description below, I'm going to be putting verified addresses that you can send crypto to in order to aid the Ukrainian refugees. If you want to keep learning the knowledge that you need to be at the forefront of the decentralized finance revolution, hit subscribe. I appreciate all of you, and I'll see you in the next video.